uh, there from downtown Seattle. Not a lot of people out and about because of this excessive heat. And that's why we've come because of the massive shortage in blood supply. Donations have plummeted this week. We're now sitting at less than a 24 hour supply of blood reserve. That's put hospitals in a tricky situation as they're now asked to conserve. It is super critical right now. We are looking at about a one day supply for red blood cells and platelets. And that means that we have to really prioritize that blood for people who have emergency situations, trauma patients, any kind of emergency situation. Those patients have to be our top priorities and all of that depends on having blood donors. That's the story every single day of the year when we need about a thousand donors a day just to maintain the blood inventory. And we saw a lot of individual blood donors cancel their uh, blood donation appointments over these very hot few days. So that accounted for about a 25% drop. That really puts us in a tough situation. If the blood's not there, can you imagine having to miss the opportunity to get a transplant because we don't have enough blood. The time to donate is right now, today. Today is the day, we can't wait. The hospitals still have enough blood supply to support normal operations, so we are good, but it's not gonna last. The 4th of July is a, it's a source of celebration, but it's also true that people is more prone to accidents. Trauma services are usually busy during that weekend. So what that means is also more blood transfusion. So we have 12 donor uh, locations. They're all climate controlled. And then we do pop-up blood drives all around the community. That's right, it's an hour in air conditioning. <laughs>